you go. <laughs> Folks, ladies and gentlemen, my next guest tonight is an actress you know from St. Maud and the personal history of David Copperfield. She now stars as Galadriel, the mightiest and fairest of all the elves, in The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. These orcs were meddling with the powers of the unseen world. Some dark sorcery of old. But what was their purpose? Surely it is lost to the ages now. Whatever happened here was long ago. Water. Even stone cannot hide the mark of one whose very hand is flame unquenched. He was here. Sauron was here. Tell the others to rest while they can. Please welcome to The Late Show, Morfith Clark. So nice to see you again. Thank you. Love uh, to see you. I had a, a really good time out in San Diego last, well, just last Friday. Yeah. Just last Friday. I think so. The time goes so fast. I know. Uh, at the Hall H Comic Con uh, a presentation of the latest trailer and clips and interviews with you and the rest yeah. of the cast for the Rings of Power. Um, here's a little. Here's a little photo of us <laughs> sharing the stage up there together. It was. It was lovely to meet you. What did it feel like? to be in that room, finally, be able to show some of this stuff to people after working on it so long. Yeah. 6,500, 7,000 people just losing their minds for you guys to show up. Yeah, I couldn't believe how big it was. And I was glad that the lights were off until the end. And then right. you just see thousands and thousands of people. Yes. Um, no, it's so exciting. I, we filmed it such a long time ago. And um, we're such a close cast now that it felt like I was so glad that I was doing that crazy thing with all these people that I kind of spent three years with. So it was wow. amazing. Now, one of the things that I, 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 I got you to do out there, and you've, you've uh -huh. done it before, and I hope you don't mind, but for those of you who don't know, uh, tell them where you're from. Um, so I'm from Wales, and I grew up Welsh-speaking. I went to Welsh-speaking school. OK. Yeah. And your name, M-O-R-F-Y-D-D. -D, yes. Is, do I have this correct? Morfydd. Very good. Very the good. double D is a th. Yes, voiced. A voice what? Yeah, so it's th instead of th. Th. Vital. Morfith. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Already sounds elvish. <laughs> Already sounds elvish. Yeah. But your little trick is, and I can't believe how entertaining it is, but it really is, it's the Welsh alphabet. Welsh Would you mind alphabet. treating us? Of course. It's my pleasure. Um... Hey, hold, on, hold on. You're not going to want to miss any of this. So my friends at home can't believe I'm getting applause for saying the alphabet, and I'm chuffed about it. So it's Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. It's hard for me. It's hard for me to pick out where one sound ends and the next one begins. Uh -huh. And Welsh has like 29 letters, not 26. So isn't that true? Yes, it has merged letters, so the double L is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it just seems like That's you're, a very you're just teasing us now. <laughs> okay. Um, you said you were fans of the books and the films growing up. What was it like to learn that you got the part of Galadriel, who might be the coolest character in the entire Legendarium? Yeah, she's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I was having this weird year anyway because Saint Maud and David Copperfield were coming out and being premiered at Toronto, okay. which was already quite overwhelming. Um, and I was having my makeup done, and the hotel phone rang, and that was just quite exciting anyway. And um, <laughs> it was my agents being like, we can't get hold of you, your phone's not working, your sister's phone's not working. Like, you got it, you got it. I can't tell anyone. I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. So absolutely locked down. Yes. It's gotta be secret. Very secret. And um, Min Min and Carlos, who were doing my hair and makeup, I was like, something big's happened, but I can't tell you what it was. And they kind of waved their brushes and hair dries in the air, and that was very nice. <laughs> um, and then I had the premiere of David Copperfield, which was just amazing. Mm -hmm. um, this whole time thinking, wow, got the job in 
Lord the Rings, um, the Rings of Power. And um, we watched the film, it was lovely, got on stage for Q&A afterwards and just hit the deck, just passed out. You passed out? Yes. In front of people? <laughs> I managed to just get off stage. I was looking at my sister in the audience. I don't know if anyone's fainted here. I suddenly couldn't see her anymore. And that's when I was like, I have to get off stage. And it's, it's filmed as well. Wow. So There's footage out there of you hitting the deck? Not quite. So you kind of see me wandering off, slightly <laughs> glassy eyed. And then I was caught by a security guard, wow. which was really nice. Wow. And yeah. the rest of the cast notice? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, upstaging yeah. them a little bit. Yes. yes. Oh. Well, one of the things that I heard is that because you were down in New Zealand so long, you missed something very important back in Wales, and that's lambing season. I did. What, what, I get an idea of what lambing season is, but yeah. what, what is it? Um, so lambing happens in March in, on our farm, um, which can sometimes snow, can sometimes rain, can sometimes be sunny. So it's, and um, you just have to make sure that all the lambs come out fine. And, um, and how do you make sure? You have to go round the farm every few hours, starting very early. And if you see a sheep, usually you can tell when they're having trouble because they have like um, leaves on them or grass, which shows they've been kind of rustling around trying to get, the get land things out. going. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then you have to catch them and try and help them. And they do not want to be helped. They do not want to be helped. And do you like literally grab the lamb and start pulling? Well, you have to grab the sheep first. And <laughs> That's so that's much heavier easy. than you realize. That's not easy. Yeah. So once you get the lamb out, what do you do? Um, so then sometimes it will be that their head's just a bit big or maybe one of their legs is caught, so you yeah. have to get in there. Yeah, get I out. understand, sure. And, um, and then once they're born, they're amazing. They're so, like, suddenly they can walk and everything, and sometimes you have to kind of help them along a little bit and get a bit of grass and, like, tickle their nose, get them to sneeze, and then off they go. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, is this is this in lambing season? Yes. This is one of our little pet lambs. He was a triplet, so his mum didn't have enough milk for him. Yeah. yeah extraordinary. <laughs> there are so many sheep in New Zealand. Did you get to use this skill when you were down there? I felt very at home. Well, yeah. thanks so much for being here. Well, thank you for having uh, me. Re really, good luck with the series. I'm looking <laughs> thank forward to you. it. The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power premieres September 2nd on Prime Video. Morton Clark, everybody. We'll be right back. Everybody got